it's amazing that people will take a simple thing as listening and make it so hard. We were taught to listen in elementary school, taught to listen in preschool, taught to listen, listen, listen. And never have we learned to listen. We were quiet and outside, but in our heads we were talking so loud we couldn't hear the other person. I was a minister. I was a Kenneth Copeland ordained minister. I attended Faith Bible Chapel in Denver, Colorado. I attended that church for seven years. I sold out my life to that church, gave 13% on average for tithing, went through Bible school. Faith Bible Chapel was my life. Christianity was my life for 36 years. And I came to a realization I had to go more than just Christianity. I had to come to understand me because I screwed my own life up. I was married for 17 years. My second marriage, I was married for seven years in my first marriage. And when I married my first marriage, I went to Kenneth Copeland Ministries, serving in Hong Kong. My life has been wide and varied. I've had over 42 careers in my life. And the one I found I loved the most was serving people as a Christian minister, but then I found out that there was much hypocrisy in every major religion out there. So why am I telling you all this? I just want to give you a background of where I'm coming from. Go to Facebook, Wing Jin, you'll see where my training has been. Go to Facebook and you'll see me and understand me. I'm not asking you to lift me up. I'm just under asking you to know where I'm coming from to share with you. But the key to really healing is the absence of the prideful, selfish thing called the me. And to be free of that is just simply listening to another wholeheartedly because when you listen to someone you love wholeheartedly you will find the you absent because you're so involved in that person you love you're attentive you're not interrupting them silently so here's the key the solution to real listening and i'm going to give it to you right now are you ready for it but way you do it a lot of us have too much selfishness and pride to be able to do that so i understand that it's going to be really difficult to do this, but the process is really, really simple. And here it is. As you're listening to other person, let your mind be still and quiet. Just like when you're watching the beauty of a sunrise or sunset, that moment, that second, your mind is totally quiet. That stillness of the mind. Listen to your child. Listen to your husband, listen to your wife, listen to your grandbabies, listen to your loved ones with the silence of the mind. Instead of chirping up from pride and selfishness, Oh, I got good advice, I have something to tell you, I can blah, 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 blah. When you meet an alcoholic next time, listen to what they say. They're hearing themselves, they're not hearing you or me. So the key is, as you begin to learn to listen, repeat the words that you hear. Let's say you hear someone's conversation. Repeat the last three words you hear them say or the last couple of words. Because as you're listening for their words, then your selfish mental thinker becomes still because then is thinking about what words are you saying. And as you're thinking about the words you're repeating, guess what? You're getting their message. It's always giving advice, giving advice, giving advice, giving advice. And that's the problem with entitlement. Parents think they're entitled to give advice to their children, and children think they're entitled to get freebie shelter from my parents, not realizing that we all are responsible for our own lives. So the key to listening is repeat the words you hear. Do it for the next 30 days. And yes, you're going to fall flat, but listen, and your relationship, I guarantee you, will begin to transform moment by moment as we listen moment by moment. Hear this and you'll probably avoid what I had to avoid the four and a half years of wanting to commit suicide because my wife left me. Because I was codependent and yet the professionals can't give me a solution to codependency. They give me drugs, they give me medications, just to dumb me down. But it's not about dumbing down, it's about 
realizing who we are, that we can love ourselves. But before we can love ourselves, before we can do that, we have to know who we are and take the time for self-exploration. Good luck in your listening. Begin now.